Okay, Gus, here we have uh, your part being ready to print. You can see it here on the screen. Uh, let's cancel that. And you can see the part here. I'm actually going to try to stuff two onto one here. So you can see there's your two parts. And I already printed one, which you'll see here in a minute. I'll cut one. And now I'm just going to try to print this one by itself. So let's print that. Okay, it looks good. Trash this. And then uh, print that. And that comes over here. You can see the laser cutter, Gus Part 1. You can see the part that we already cut out. And now we're going to cut out the other one. So you can hear the air compressor running right now. That's for blowing a little more oxygen across the beam. Blows the particles of stuff out of the way, plus it um, also accelerates combustion. So there you can see it's cutting one of your holes. I'm going to try to stuff two of these plates on one. Will you be done with the laser in about 20 minutes, you think? Yeah, yeah, this is my last cut here. So I'll be done in about five minutes. Laser's very popular. It's running almost all the time here. Here's Ed. He teaches our Adreno class. Hi, guys which is uh, microcontrollers that you can, they're easy to program. You do that on Saturdays, right? Sunday. Sundays, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's bright. What are these parts? These are, um, this is the uh, fuel tank baffle. It goes right behind the firewall of the airplane. So you can see this one surface here with these uh, interlocks in it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, where the firewall goes, I believe. So the engine mounts there, it's got a slight angle because you angle your motors down slightly because you want, when you're flying, you mm -hmm. want your angle, a slight angle of attack on your wings. So you have about a two degree uh, down angle on the motor. So the motor mounts right in that area where it's coming by right now. And then usually there's a little bit of uh, twist one or two degrees to the right I believe too. And that uh, counteracts, I don't know, it's not really technically torque, but torque from the engine. The, the prop. Yeah, from the prop spinning. So actually all the all our motors are and the props are mounted at two different angles down and to the right, if I remember right, for a normally rotating crop. Oh yeah, it's fitting. All right, great, Gus. I got two parts on your one piece of plywood. And Dan's over here next to me. He's, gonna, he's doing a robot that we just built. So I'll show you that after this is done cutting. So this took right around three minutes to cut, so not too long. You can hear the laser uh, fans cranking up because the laser tube is getting hot. The laser tube is located on the back here of the machine. Okay, it's done. Let's check those out. All right. Well, it's a little tight in a couple spots, so we'll break that out. A little bit of sanding, maybe. Okay, it was almost perfect speed there. Okay, so I'll deliver those to you tonight, maybe, if you haven't gone home already. Here's Dan with a robot. We just cut that out of acrylic the other night. It's a quadruped robot. It's got a little radio controller, two-channel radio controller. Right there. It's for his son, Remus. And it's Dan. <laughs> All right. Cool.